Now I'm not going to sit here and do what everyone else has done and just get a generic Nuketown gameplay whilst talking about Black Ops 3 and the return of Nuketown. No! Instead I'm going to bring you a, a bit of a scummy gameplay and when I say scummy I mean it's scummy as hell because this is me with an SVU and I don't move pretty much the entire game and I almost get a nuclear and I go absolutely ham on this entire squad. But anyway, in this commentary, we're discussing Nuketown 2065, I think it is, returning to the Black Ops franchise, what my thoughts are, and giving you a little bit of a different perspective to what you're perhaps used to. Is in my sub box, I've seen everyone discussing Nuketown saying, oh, it's great because it's a small map, or oh, it's shit because snipers are going to ruin it. Now, I have a slightly different opinion, and that's this is probably the map that everyone knows for Call of Duty. Even people that don't really play COD much, they'll know about Nuketown. If you think of a Treyarch game and a Treyarch map, the first one you think of is probably Nuketown. Maybe Standoff, because Standoff is amazing as well. But anyway, I'll get onto that a little bit later on. So with that in mind, bringing back Nuketown is great publicity for Treyarch because people know the map. People want to play the map because it's small. It's it, You can literally use any weapon on it. Sniper, just like this gameplay, or maybe Quickscope with a Blister or DSL if you're rushing in like a madman. God bless that aim assist on Black Ops 2 snipers. Or you can use an LMG, camp like a scumbag, target finder maybe. Or you can use an AR, sub, even use a riot shield if you want to. And it's just a great map because you can use anything. You can play how you want. And that's the important thing about COD, is using what you want and having fun with it. And just imagine it in Black Ops 3. You know, all of the weapons, you know, you're seeing the Razorbacks, the M8s. You can imagine it all on this map because it'll be a good laugh. And as you can see, at this stage of the game, I'm 16 and 1. And now I pull out the VTOL warship. And I just go ham against these motherfuckers. They're sat there trying to get off my spawn trap and they just can't because I'm destroying them. And I'm just sat here chuckling to myself thinking, you're completely trapped. I'm just getting a ridiculous amount of kills and I'm having a whale of a time. And can you imagine this? Black Ops 3, Mothership, you're just destroying these motherfuckers and they can't do anything about it. Why wouldn't you want this map back in Black Ops 3? And to be honest, I'm going to add to my own question there. There are some issues. I mean, the fact you can spawn trap on this map is a little bit annoying, but you can spawn trap on Combine, for, uh, for crying out loud. You can spawn trap essentially on every bloody map. So it's not really a valid point, to be honest with you. And for me, this map doesn't really need any tweaking. Obviously, it's going to be revamped a little bit. It doesn't really need much tweaking. Um, yeah, you want to make it so it accommodates wall running or whatever. Yeah, that's fair enough. But <laughs> how did that guy not kill me, by the way? But yeah, fair enough. You want to accommodate for wall, uh, wall running. But that doesn't need to happen, to be honest with you. Just keep it how it is. And as you can see, it's going to switch to the ballista now. Lay down in this garage area and just fire on down this little street. And... They're just trapped. They can't get out. I'm having a whale of a time. I'm just off a nuclear at this point, but I am going to be dying soon. So as you can see, my Ruthless Medal has come up, and yeah, my, my death is coming up shortly. But as you can see, the VSATs are in the air. It's having a whale of a time. And Black Ops 3 with Nuketown, I've said it before, I'll say it again in this video. Why wouldn't you want to bring it back? There are issues in every single map, but I've been on Black Ops 2 today, and 12 people out of 12 voted Nuketown over Standoff. And it's just like, that's how good this map is, or how much people enjoy this map, I should say. And obviously, there are people that absolutely despise this map because they just get bullshitted, or it's too chaotic, as they describe. But I would rather have a chaotic map than a map like fucking Siege. And there's the death, folks. Shot through, like, four freaking walls there. But hey-ho, I'm going to get a kill cam just spraying and praying with this SVU. I think it was a kill cam, anyway. I'm pretty sure it was. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I win the game. It's 42 and 2. 200 to 105. It was a great game. I love Black Ops 2, but as I was saying, I would rather have a chaotic map, which is small action packed, than have a map like Siege from Ghosts or White Owl or something big, because it's fucking boring, guys. Let's get these small maps in. Let's have some fun. Let's use whatever weapons we want. And that's the important thing about Call of Duty. Having fun. And no map does it better than Nuketown, in my humble, humble opinion. But that's everything from this video, guys. If you enjoyed my thoughts or all that good stuff, drop a like. Any thoughts yourself, please drop a comment. And as always, hit that subscribe button. Cheers.